Well, hello beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mansur and today I have another exciting Dollar Tree DIY. Yes, we're going to be using Dollar Tree products to create a beautiful candle holder. Yes, guys, only $3 and you have a beautiful candle holder including a nice smelling candle. So if you want to see how I put together this quick DIY that anyone can do, you definitely want to keep on watching. So for this um, DIY, you're going to need some Dollar Tree candlesticks and they have different styles as you can see um, on the screen. And this is the one I picked up. So yeah, you need two of those. I mean, you need as much as you want. I'm only trying to make two candle holders. So I grabbed two of those. And I also grab one of these glass jars. They have different shapes and sizes, but this pairs perfectly with the candle sticks that I already got. You would also need some E6000 or any type of glue that can hold really strongly. So I recommend E6000. You can also use hot gun um, glue, but E6000 is really sturdy. Um, I'm also going to be spray painting these. I grabbed this um, Rust-Oleum paint. So for the white candle holder, it's like an ivory color. So I'm going in with the semi-gloss white paint um, Rust-Oleum. I really like it. It does not need anything, any prepping. Um, you just spray it directly on it. And for the glasses, I'm going in with a metallic gold. Now I had to change my uh, metallic gold to this one on the screen because I was not happy with the gold that I got. So this is all you need for the DIY. Let's get started. Now I am going to start by spray painting these. You want to shake it and make sure that you're spraying away from it. Spray at a good angle, but don't keep the nozzle too close to the object because you're going to get some dripping going on. And since the candlesticks were already white, I did not need a second coating. But if you're using a different color, by all means, do a second coating. And here is my glass. Now, for the glass, all you want to do is make sure that you clean it. So I went ahead and took off the stickers on the bottom. And then I'm going in with just a paper towel and wiping it. I already washed it with um, soapy water. And you want to wipe it dry. Let it be completely dry um, before you go in with the paint. So here I am with my first paint. Like I said, I had to change the paint because once I started spraying, I just noticed that it was more of like a bronze color and that was not what I was going for. And as you can see right here, I was already spraying a little too much and it already started dripping. So I know I had to just retract. <laughs> So I just decided last minute that um, the white looks so good and I just wanted a second paint. So I just gave it a second coat, uh, just a really quick one, but I didn't really need it like I mentioned. So this is what the finished product looked like with the first paint, um, with the first coat that I went with. So I went with the paint, the same paint a second time and um, I was still not happy with the color, okay? So just look for a paint that just suits whatever color you're going for. So this is what gave me this color that you're about to see on your screen. Now, this was the finished product of the candlestick. It's nice and dry and you can see it is pure white, beautiful and the aesthetics are just gorgeous and fits in with everything. Now, can you guys see the difference in this gold color? This is the gold I was going for, just a soft gold, not too shiny, but at least I wanted it to be gold and not bronze. So this is exactly what I was looking for. And as you can see, the finished product looks so beautiful. Now, see how beautifully they just the glasses just sit on top of that. Now we're gonna secure it with some E6000. And as you can see, I'm just putting it on the candlestick and also on the, the glass jar at the bottom of it. And you just want to secure it in place. And I'm just pressing my hand on it to make sure that it um, stays down. Yeah, and then you have to um, air dry it until it's completely dry. I just let it sit um, for uh, some minutes or so. And that was it. 
So I do the same thing with the other one, put some glue on the bottom of the glass jar and also on the candlestick and just make sure that you're securing it in place so that it's not one sided. So just guard it that way you're not trying to move the glue around and ta-da, that was it. Nice and simple guys, $2 each and then your spray paint which you can use for so many products and you can style it in so many ways right now i have it on top of my console table as you can see the white and the gold just ties in all of those colors that i have going on i keep it neutral except for my favorite color which is that aqua the teal color that i like to add in so i'm going to go ahead with some dollar tree um vanilla candles these candles smell so good and they're actually really big and they fit perfectly into these glass jars so yes, I grabbed two of those, which makes our DIYs $3, excluding the spray paint. So yeah, I'm just going to drop them right in there. You can decide to light these candles, but for me, for the most part, I don't like them. I just let them sit there. I light my other candles that I get from Bath & Body Works. And this is my finished product. You can use this in your kitchen, on your, on your mantle, basically anywhere it's a decor piece that um just ties and you can use any spray paint of your choice um to match whatever decor color you have going on at home so i hope you really like this video if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll catch you in my next one subscribe for more videos like this until i catch you again stay safe and hold on to your families i love you all